Hey everyone, it's Michael here with GoodyReader.com and I have some great news. Sony just announced their second generation digital paper. The first iteration was called the DPTS1. This one is named the DPT RP1. So it's a, a little bit of a mouthful, it doesn't roll off the tongue as easy as the first generation model. Uh, this is going to be available June 5th in Japan for the equivalent of around $720 US. The DPT RP1 features a 13.3 inch flexible electronic display with a resolution of 2200 by 1650. This is the equivalent of 207 ppi. Underneath the hood is a quad core processor and 1.2 gigahertz of it is allocated just for the e-ink screen itself. There's 16 gigs of internal memory and this will hold around 10,000 PDF files. Speaking of PDF files, this is the only format that this e-reader will read. Uh, it comes with a stylus so you'll be able to make edits, notes, annotations and so on. This has Bluetooth and NFC so you'll be able to hook up unannounced accessories. There's no word yet if it has a USB host controller, so we don't know if you can plug in um, a USB keyboard, for example, or if you could hook up a pair of like wireless Beats headphones. Uh, the new DPT is a solid device. The resolution, the PPI, the internal memory, the processor, everything about it is an upgrade over the original model that was released three years ago and it was discontinued in late 2016. It has Flika card support so you could basically unlock it with your business you know ID card. Uh, it's only available in Japan so there's really no North American equivalent to it but who knows whether something like that in terms of added security will be deployed in the near future. Speaking of security, Sony has really been really good with that. You could unlock the device with a security passcode. There's a lot of different cloud storage type options to be able to not have everything just on the device, but you could upload it to different sort of cloud servers or to uh, if your company has like their own cloud server solution, you can upload it directly to there. So the only Unknown right now is when is it going to be available in North America? Sony really doesn't know right now. It's not even released yet for another two or three months. So we'll have more on that. If you want to have a full review of this, we're actually going to have the Japanese version in the Good Reader Studios close to the release date. So we'll be able to have the first hands-on review of this. So we're really excited for that. For Good Reader, my name is Michael.